latest hairstyles from the upper stands. The latest news from the Commonwealth. Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. You say the word. Hey, Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Your thoughts? Maybe constantly trying to kill us. But... Right. I just wanted to check in. Make sure things were all right between us. Look, you don't need to worry. We're fine, I guess. I just... I want to do right by folks out here. I guess... I need to know you do, too. Is everything all right between us, Piper? Well, things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. Nothing else for now. Okay. Head on inside. We're gonna dance? 
Keep moving, Scatter.
someone there? I'll Where wear your you? guts around my neck! <laughs>
It's getting warmed up over here. Um. Walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the ball. Kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. What I saw... She's here for the detect.
found you, knucklehead! Oh, my God. 
when they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? What? So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll.
Loosen up. I got the fidgets. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black field. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes. I can carry something if you need me to. realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this...
Gotta love Hell yeah. Love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I need you to find someone, but it's... It's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be, or... How long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino! Quit razzing that detective and get down here! Where the heck is he? Hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door is on the, the key. fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Toys in here. Nice. Oh, I'll find you. Guess we're not alone. Well, you and Valentine. Uh, uh, it won't be bothering anybody now. Instructor, let's see those moves, doll. Break a sweat. Not that it's an option. Ugh. 
Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Get him, Skinny! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. What's the deal with you people and Nick anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. I guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me! This is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk and we won't come back. Like hell you won't! Don't you get it? All the other crews in the area will see this as weakness. Then they'll come for me! Sorry. Time to give you both the hard goodbye. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Skinny Malone. Think he's lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Well, the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. It's going to be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. A service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Hey. Shoot. Piper. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. <laughs> Heck, until recently they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. 
I trace the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. (laughs) I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself! And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. Someone poisoned you? You kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Deem, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and... There it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory. I I just... Uh Uh-huh. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like All the better to watch each other's backs. So, you want to get out of here? not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Yes? A dad says not to talk hey, to strangers. How about I introduce 24 you to my hour service. Oh, Only at Diamond City me. Surplus. Lally, she must go up. No. What? But we've been traveling together for ages. Money, she must go up. Ah, sorry, Blue. The jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Web alive? Gone. I mean, I bet your name's not even Blue, is it? Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours!
Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open. City surplus open twenty four hours. Every conceivable good you could ever need. Mm -hmm. Sure. Anything and Always was a little jealous of folks who could craft something other than a paragraph. Seems to be growing yourself. well. Hey, 
soon, Mama. How are you getting along? Just fine. I should have done it's more. Nice to finally settle down. <laughs> I hope so much those raiders pay around. for what they've done. Oh, yeah? You spent a little time on the run when you were younger? Oh, yes, you have to when there's a bounty on your head. A little elderly advice. Yeah? Don't double-cross a raider. They hold long grudges. Yeah, that's good advice. Sounds like quite the adventure. It was. Someday, I'll tell you all about it. I want to chit chat. Yes? Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? Sure. Let's take a look. You break it? Yep. Mm hmm. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Sure. Let's... I got a little bit of everything. Hey, June. You hanging in there? Oh, well, I guess so. Ah! Every day I get up and tell myself, ah! you just have to get through today. Now you've been through a rough time. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No, it's all tricks. Allie? Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? 
Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. Um, they didn't say much, but... But I remember they... They called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... they... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular, and why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So, you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am.
didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. Hey, Valentine. No luck? Guess we'll need to find a key. Hmm, we can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could... Why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my baby. The man who owned that house... kidnapped him. I've heard the sob story. Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. Special. Quick. Clean. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. <laughs> The M.O. is all him as well. <coughs> Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Hey, Valentine. Go ahead. See if you have any luck with that door. Lock tight. Stubborn lock, ain't it? 
No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? receiving visitors as long as they aren't members I need Mr. Kellogg's right if there was something belong uh -huh. come on can't you help me yourself and if I could maybe we can reach an agreement a gift oh there it Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like, well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. Uh all right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. There's something you need? Go ahead. Meat. Get the scent, boy.
Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search San Francisco around, see if sunlights. We can pick up the trail. Kellogg's preferred Dog brand, find all right. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Bloody bandages. Dog meat, Dog meat can track this. Okay, boy. Let's track him.
I don't think we're alone. A decoy, huh? Clever. Exactly subtle. <laughs> Got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> Damn. 
hell of a party happened here. Tracking no mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. <laughs> Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Hi. Hey there. You look like someone who could use a dog. Woman's best friend too, right? Why are you selling her? Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. But then I get myself a new puppy and start all over again. I'll have to think about it. Oh, that's fine. I sell dogs for a living, but I always hate to actually have to sell them. I will, though, if you change your mind. What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? That dog's got one hell of a nose. He'll sniff Kellogg out. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? Hey. Go on. There's something bothering you? Your thoughts? Our man is in there somewhere. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Well, traveling with you beats being held prisoner in some vault. That's for darn sure. So, yeah, I'd say we're fine. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel. Got no major complaints at the moment. That was all I had. Got it. We're not alone.
What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? That dog's got one hell of a nose. He'll sniff Kellogg out. Is this the place, huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Way to get that cool and pumping. Uh. No accounting for taste.
There's something you need? Is someone present? Engaging. It would appear my target has disappeared. You want me to take a look at that terminal? through. Someone's coming. Look who it is. Attention. Interfering Turn with a now. law enforcement Turn. robot Turn. is a felony. Thank 
Interception. Interfering <sighs> with me. Maw in... <laughs> is a felony. You can break it twice. Not that it's an option. Sweet. If you didn't want it open, they should have bought a better lock. Detecting stealth, I was in error. No enemy detected. Anybody now? They had no expense, did they? You know, I can probably make that terminal talk for you if you ask nicely.
Hey. I'm think listening. you can unlock that terminal? Good plan. Did a decent job locking this down, but if I just... It's all yours. Continued resistance is unlawful. Playing with the wrong scent. Over here. Yes. You do that a little too well.
Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, Curious. figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. I don't think we're alone. Initiate directive, Sigma, Omicron, Project Delon. You're in for it now! <laughs> Kellogg's secure facility infiltrated. Termination required. You really want this to be the last mug you <laughs> That's it.
Engaging hostile life form. Hell yeah. So much knowledge was lost when the bombs hit. Good to see someone trying to bring it back.
That's it. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. And there she is, the most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. You came a long way. Let's hear it. Enough! Just... Where is my baby? <laughs> Lady, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Then you're gonna take me to him. Right now. Take you to him. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son, he's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe, at home, in the Institute. Here, the Institute, I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. You might have actually been a good mother. And I admire your dedication. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So. You ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. There she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. Movement detected. Here he is. <sighs> And there.
there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. <laughs> <laughs> There she is. The most resilient woman in the comic. Is someone present? Hey, back. Upper clear. You'll never see him again. Ah, can't breathe.
there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. Human. <laughs> There she is. anyone else we should take a look around get all the intel this place can hide all this tech you were barely human Nick. So, the Institute was the puppet master all along. Damn. Even I don't know where they are. They built me. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever.
I'm all ears. Roof access. Hey. You should go ahead. Your thoughts? Flying that ship into the heart of the Commonwealth. Mark my words, the Brotherhood's here to start a war. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Well, traveling with you beats being held prisoner in some vault. That's for darn sure. So, yeah, I'd say we're fine. Oh, nothing. All right. Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station here, we we don't really. Make any caps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, like this. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you are not welcome there. Upper stands residents only. Here's Uranium Rock, a song about people getting rich by finding uranium. <laughs> that, uh, that worked out real well for all of us, didn't it? I'm joking, just joking, it went poorly. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency, with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat.
You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. 